Well, good afternoon. I'm Missoula Mayor John Ingen, and it is the 3rd of June, 2020. Uh, and uh, Missoula Chief of Police Jason White and I wanted to spend a little time with you this afternoon uh, updating you on uh, how national trends are affecting Missoula, Montana, uh, what our plans and reactions are, and what we know today. Uh, first, uh, want to acknowledge the, the pain and outrage that many people around the country and certainly in Missoula are feeling with regard to uh, the death at uh, the hands of a Minneapolis police officer of an African-American man. Uh, we find that to be appalling and uh, we also believe that, uh, that that sort of systemic violence and racism needs to come to an end in our country. Uh, but today we're in the business of ensuring that folks who are peacefully demonstrating can exercise their First Amendment rights and participate in this democracy that we love in hopes that the world can change and be better for all of us. Uh, Chief White, would you mind sharing with folks uh, what you know? There have been a number of, uh, more than a number of uh, rumors spread through social media, um, in, causing some of our residents to be a little bit worried about uh, violence and rioting and some of what we've seen in the rest of the country. And would you sort of please spend some time talking about the intelligence that you've been able to gather? Yeah, thank you, Mayor. So the police department has been aware for the last uh, several days uh, regarding some information of potential outside agitators coming into Missoula and infilt infiltrating our peaceful uh, demonstrations that we're having uh, here in Missoula uh, to possibly cause some chaos and and um, so we've been aware of that for uh, several days now. We've been working with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners uh, to track down uh, information that's validated um, to figure out what is going on. And uh, we wanted to didn't want to come out too soon with information until we could truly validate what is going on uh, and the potential impact to Missoula. And I'm happy to report uh, as of today, we have no credible intelligence that that is true. Um, we firmly believe um, that it has uh, been rumor and speculation in working with law enforcement agencies in the areas where these outside um, agitators were coming from, supposedly uh, in those posts, we've been working with those law enforcement agencies and they are not providing us any information that validates uh, that those uh, agitators are within their community, um, let alone coming to Missoula. So uh, I just want to put some people's minds at ease uh, to know that um, that is at this point in time, simply not true. That's great, Chief. We really appreciate that. And folks, if you're paying attention to social media, um, be skeptical. Uh, if we know something, we are going to let you know, and we will have a variety of ways of doing that, um, not the least of which is a quick look at the City of Missoula's website, uh, where we will post any significant change uh, that you all should be concerned about. We'll reach out uh, and we'll make sure that you're aware. Uh, so Chief, you and I have talked uh, over the last several days about uh, planning uh, in the event that, uh, that we do have some uh, unwelcome agitation. Uh, I just want the folks we serve to know that those plans are in place. We don't need to talk in depth about them. Um, but would you just uh, mind putting folks' minds at ease in terms of our planning and preparation? Absolutely. So for the peaceful demonstrations, we 100% support people's First Amendment rights to have their voices heard. And we will do everything we can to, to facilitate that. That's our job as a police department. Uh, if we do have uh, some outside agitators that come in, we are prepared. Uh, we have uh, developed uh, operations plans. Uh, they've been briefed to the officers. We've looked at our equipment. We have prepared our equipment. Uh, we've prepared our officers uh, to go out and uh, protect the city and maintain uh, safety here in, the, here in the city for, for everyone here. Thanks to you. So we have a long history of peaceful demonstration here at the city of Missoula. Uh, and we believe that legacy is something to be proud of and something that we will work hard to 
ensure uh, lasts into the future. Um, these are difficult times and people need to make their voices heard in the ways that they seem that they deem appropriate. Uh, the thing to remember here is that your rights uh, extend to the point that they violate someone else's. So the word of the day here in Missoula is peace and peaceful, uh, despite our anger, despite our frustration. And uh, please know that I have the utmost faith in Chief White and uh, the women and men of the Missoula Police Department. They are well-trained, they are compassionate, uh, they are on your side. Chief, anything we're missing? Uh, I, I just want uh, people to know that, uh, you know, I, I know that sometimes you're going to get, have a, a counter view uh, yelled at you. Uh, and, and just please know that um, to, to remain calm, to remain level-headed, um, not everyone's unfortunately going to agree with everyone on any issue, let alone something that's this emotionally charged. And, you know, our, our, our hope is to allow people to express their emotion, uh, to express their frustration, to express their, their anger um, in a constructive way um, so that their voice is heard and, you know, we don't end up in a, 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 an unnecessarily confrontational situation between two people within the community, let alone uh, it gets to a point that the police department needs to intervene. We just would like people to to remain calm and, and let their message be heard for what the message is and what the message isn't about. Yeah, common courtesy can be tough to come by these days and we need to work really hard to practice that. Folks are under a lot of stress and we understand that, uh, which is why we need to double down on our respect for one another. Uh, with that, as always, um, if you find that you are in a situation where you feel uncomfortable, uh, unsafe, uh, please dial 911. Uh, that, is the, that is the best way to get a response to whatever it is that is causing you discomfort at the time. And uh, we will do our best to be on the scene and assist in the most appropriate way, depending on the circumstance. Uh, Chief, thank you very much. Appreciate all that you're doing. Uh, appreciate the outreach that you've done uh, in the community to date to make folks, uh, particularly folks in, in, uh, in protected classes feel uh, protected um, and listened to and seen. Uh, I'm grateful for that and all you do and I'm grateful to our citizens as well. Any parting words, Jason? Uh, just, just be safe, please. Um, look out for one another uh, and take care of one another uh, out there. I think that's you know that care and compassion is is what we need most right now, and if we're if we're doing that for one another, uh, we will we will get through this, and we will make the whatever changes need to be made um, in in our society in order to address uh, some of these issues that are being brought forward. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you all, and we will see you soon. Be safe. Take care.